Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we'll look at how we can use named ranges to create cascading data validation lists. Or in other words, a data validation list that provides a value that then determines drop downs in a second validation list. So for example, if I choose Michigan in one cell, that should determine the cities that can be chosen. I could also choose a different city in that, uh, state in that same cell and then get a different list of cities in a second cell. So to do that, we're first going to create a named range uh, from the states. So if you want to pause the video and set up some sample data for yourself, and then we'll pick it up and make it happen. So the first thing I'll do is select the states. So I'm going to select A1 through D1, and I'm going to call that range states. So I'll go to my name box, which is that little area just above the spreadsheet, and I'll type states, and remember to hit the enter key, as uh, you must hit the enter key to confirm the name of your range when you enter it in that fashion. And you cannot have spaces in the name of your range, nor can it start with a number. So states works. Then I'm going to select those headers as well as the data below. And I'd like to create a named range called Illinois which has those cities starting with Chicago and ending with Rockford. I'd like a range called Michigan, which has Detroit through Troy, etc., etc. So I'm going to tell Excel to do it for me. I'll go to the Formulas tab of my ribbon. And on the Formulas tab, in the middle is a section labeled Defined Names. And so the Defined Names area allows us to manage our named ranges or even create them automatically. So there's an option here labeled Create from Selection. And when I click it, uh, Excel is asking how should it create the named ranges. And since they're all text, Excel isn't quite sure which values it should be using for the names of the ranges. Uh, I just want to use the top row, so I'm going to uncheck left column. In other words, I'm not trying to create a named range called Chicago, which has values in it Detroit, Milwaukee, and Cleveland. That wouldn't make sense. So we'll uncheck that. I want to create named ranges called Illinois that have those cities in A, Michigan with the cities in B, etc., etc. So I'm creating names from the values in the top row. I click OK. And now to confirm, if I go to my name box, if I choose states, well, that's the original range I set up A1 through D1. But if I choose Illinois, then it gives me those cities listed under Illinois. If I choose Ohio, it gives me the cities listed under Ohio. So now that that's been set up, I'm ready to create my cascading uh, validation list. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And uh, I'll start out in cell A10. I'll type uh, state and then city next to that. And maybe I'll make those bold, make them appear as headers. And I'll select just a few cells under state. I'll go to the data tab of the ribbon. And on the data tab, I'll choose data validation. And on the settings tab where it's labeled allow, I'll choose list instead of any value. And for the source, I'll type equals states. Now, I won't bother with an input message or an error alert here, but you could spruce it up with uh, those elements too. But the key piece is to create the list. So if I click OK, now in that range, I've got a drop down of states. So. Illinois, or I've got Michigan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So with that set up, uh, I'm now going to go to the drop down, or I'm going to create the drop downs for the cities. So I'll select a corresponding range of cells uh, in in column B, and choose data validation, allow list. But for my source, I'll choose the following structure. I'll write equals indirect open paren uh, A11. So the indirect function tells the data validation tool to interpret the value in A11 as the name of a range. So since A11 has the value MI in it, which is the name of a range that has the cities Detroit, Ann Arbor, etc., that's what we should get. So I'll choose OK, and now the city dropdown has those cities. Now, if I go and change that state to, say, Wisconsin, uh, you know, I'm going to center that because it looks like the uh, drop-down was showing outside the confines of my video. 
but if I shrink the column down just a bit so hopefully you guys can see that let me extend that just a bit there we go so now I've extended my video to the left a bit so you should be able to see the drop down with the states uh, so if I choose Ohio for example and then I come under city well then I have the Ohio cities in the next row maybe I choose Michigan and then I've got the uh, Michigan cities so and you could do multiple levels of this I mean maybe within Detroit I have neighborhoods so I might have a third column uh, of neighborhoods that come from a named range called Detroit now this is how you create cascading uh, drop-down lists using named ranges and data validation in Excel thanks very much please come back soon for more Excel videos have a productive day